Even though the middle class is often portrayed as struggling, they still make up the largest segment of the socioeconomic structure and have an important say in making choices. However, many in the middle class prioritize financial security to the extent that they may not fully consider the value of their assets and liabilities. According to Robert Kiyosaki, a well-known author, a person's assets and liabilities are key factors that differentiate between the different classes. Essentially, your possessions can reveal whether you are wealthy or not. In this video, we will explore eight things that the middle class commonly considers assets, but are actually not. Number 1. Your house is the largest liability you have. Owning a large house and fancy cars is often associated with wealth, but in reality, it may not be financially beneficial, as these items can be considered liabilities, rather than assets. This is because they do not generate income, but instead, they require money to maintain and upkeep. The wealthy often categorize their possessions as either assets or liabilities, with items like cars, houses, and entertainment systems falling into the liabilities category. To avoid falling into the same financial traps as the middle class, it is important to manage household finances like a business and invest in financial knowledge. Getting advice from financial experts can help you learn about the difference between wise investments and debts that may become difficult. Making informed decisions about large purchases, such as buying a home, can prevent future financial strain and stress. It is essential to research and inquire before making significant financial decisions, as negligence can lead to costly mistakes. Number 2. Job security doesn't guarantee financial freedom. Choosing a job solely for its perceived financial security is not a guaranteed path to financial freedom. The pursuit of wealth and status may seem exclusive to those with high intelligence, but many people settle for jobs that do not bring out their best qualities. They may cling to the belief that sticking with an unsatisfying job will lead to a breakthrough in their lives, but this is a false notion that serves to deceive our minds. Can investing in a tolerable job turn someone into a millionaire? It is unlikely, especially when compared to the wealthy class who pursue different ideologies. Rather than investing in jobs for security, the wealthy invest in activities that give them a sense of fulfillment, which sets them apart. Anthropologist Hadass Weiss suggests that the wealthy continue to accumulate wealth because of their mindset. It is possible to achieve immense benefits by investing in one's talents, hobbies, and passions, as long as there is a well-crafted strategy and adequate financial knowledge. Overcoming our limited thinking and striving to achieve our dreams is necessary to escape the mindset of settling for a safe 9-to-5 job. By doing so, we can unlock limitless possibilities and discover surprises we never thought possible. Therefore, we must not be afraid to take risks and pursue a better status. Once free from the shackles of employment slavery, nothing is impossible. Number 3. Formal Education have you ever questioned why high-achieving students work for low-achieving ones? The middle class often puts great emphasis on formal education, perhaps because they believe it's the key to building wealth. However, if that were the case, then every top-performing graduate would be a multimillionaire. The wealthy understand that financial success is not solely dependent on academic performance, but rather on gaining specific knowledge, such as investing and networking. In fact, Street smarts often play a more significant role in achieving success than book smarts. While schools prepare you for a typical 9-to-5 job, self-education provides you with the tools to navigate the world and explore different aspects of life. Some of the world's most successful billionaires, such as Steve Jobs and Michael Dell, dropped out of college to pursue their dreams. Today, universities are becoming less relevant and it's better to take online courses to strengthen your skills in your field of interest rather than acquiring massive student loans. You can also take inspiration from Bill Gates, who credits much of his success to reading 50 books a year. Number 4. Middle Class Spends Before Investing The middle class typically prioritizes spending over investing, but it is more financially savvy to invest first, and then spend what is left over. For instance, instead of using $50 to $100 per month to pay off a car loan, that same amount could be invested in stocks or bonds to generate dividends. Consistently channeling money into investments early on can result in a higher rate of generational wealth. 
This requires a great deal of discipline in managing one's finances and sticking to financial priorities and plans. By contrast, those who prioritize spending first often become trapped in a cycle of work in order to sustain their constant needs. One's views on spending and investing can have a significant impact on social mobility. Adopting the mindset that our worth is determined by how much we have left over after spending can help shift our thinking towards scaling up from the middle to upper class. The key is to prioritize investing before spending, even if it takes time to reap the benefits. Ultimately, this approach can work wonders for one's financial future. Number 5. Middle class believes that getting rich is a matter of luck, not choice. Many people believe that getting rich is a matter of luck, rather than a personal decision, which limits their thinking and performance. This mindset, which links wealth to professional skills, homeownership, and formal education, can lead to stagnation in the middle class. To achieve financial freedom, it is necessary to change this perspective and take responsibility for your own status. By identifying and filling gaps in society, you can become a successful entrepreneur and a millionaire. Your thoughts have a significant impact on your success, so it is essential to stay positive and focus on generating new ideas, rather than solely cutting expenses. Number 6. Middle class focuses on saving rather than investing. People in the middle class usually follow saving rules and are not as comfortable taking risks as rich people. They think saving money is the best way to become financially secure, but actually, the real way to create wealth is to invest money wisely. Money is a useful tool for buying things, so it's better to use it to make more money rather than keep it hidden away. The middle class often think, there's not enough money to go around, so they save more than they spend, and they trust banks to make them rich. But depending on banks to get wealthy is not a good idea, because the banks use the money people save to lend to others, and make more money for themselves and the wealthy, while the poor stay poor. Number 7. Middle class believes that wealth corrupts character. The notion that money corrupts character is a common belief that holds many in the middle class captive. However, it is not accurate to claim that having more money leads to a decline of one's character. Money has the power to positively impact people's lives and even future generations. Unfortunately, many associate great wealth with greed, corruption, and oppression. But the truth is, money is not the problem. Rather, it reveals an individual's true character. If someone was greedy before, becoming wealthy could make them even greedier, and the same goes for kind-hearted individuals. It's crucial to change our mindset and transform our thinking, focusing on virtues instead of vices. We should invest our money wisely and learn to distinguish between humility and poverty. And number 8. Middle class thinks that white-collar jobs are the best for building wealth. Despite the comfort of a steady paycheck, sticking to a corporate job will not make you rich. The wealthy do not limit themselves to climbing the corporate ladder, but aim to own the ladder itself. On the other hand, the middle class believes that employment is the only way to achieve financial stability, and therefore, strive to build a career by going to college and getting good grades. However, the wealthy focus on creating businesses that can provide jobs for the middle class. By limiting themselves to traditional thinking, the middle class becomes stagnant and unable to climb the economic ladder. In the process, they end up enriching their employers and making them billionaires. Even if you are excellent at your job, your employer likely only loses a small percentage of their wealth to pay your salary. So, why not take a small risk and start something of your own? Taking that step is the first move towards financial freedom and unimaginable wealth. Therefore, everyone should be willing to get out of their comfort zone and take risks, no matter how small, to achieve financial independence. That concludes today's video. I hope it was informative and beneficial to you. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. I welcome your feedback, so feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Lastly, remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss any future videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.